mind, body, and soul. Why is it important for human beings or in everyday life? I am a vocal coach, a singer for about almost 30 years, and I've learned how to impact in others' lives. Let me be a little bit scientific here. Mind. It is scientifically proved that music can tone the function of the brain so as one can memorize and improve the way of learning more efficiently. For example, have you ever asked yourself how musicians, singers can memorize a song list for about more than two hours, perform live, having fun, enjoying themselves, and still spread the love around? Body. Music is a faithful accompaniment, the best one for training, that leads an athlete to perform at his best. Usain Bolt. Yes. You've all seen him before going on track with his headphone, having his own move, thinking and trying to align this beautiful machine. When his mind and body is aligned, this is how he's going to unleash the soul of self-belief. When Yusin Bowl is on the track, his mind is set on the goal. His body is just expressing every frequency about confidence, even threatening the competitors next to him. And when his mind and body is aligned, he is surely running for the goal. But what is music? The definition of music. Music is a vocal or instrumental sound or combined together to perform beauty of form, harmony, and to unleash emotion. Vocal. Each and every one of us do have this power within. But do we use, really use it? Picture yourself running in the morning, going to your bathroom, open the tap, let water out, and let it out. You know that music, you just shout it all out, that melody that none of us know, but you are so sure about yourself that you just... Ah! You're free to do it. No one is judging. But you know that melody right there. That is the soul of self-beliefs. I bet you, every one of you here, do you have a favorite melody or a favorite song? It is clearly said, music is vocal. You don't need to be a singer to do music. All of us here use her voice. Bringing you back to childhood. Remember those days when you were a child? Everything was possible. Question was, what would you be when you grow up? Oh, I want to be an astronaut. Oh no, I want to be a doctor. Oh, I don't want to be this and I want to be that. But what happened? We grew up and leave that child behind. We forget to bring it along with us. Mind, body, and soul. 
Every one of us has this power to unleash an amazing frequency, the frequency of self-being, of happiness, the feel-good factor. But how do we do it? The first thing that the doctor checked when you were born, I bet you the first thing that the partner will check if you're still sleeping for too long. It's all about air. It's all about breathing. When you breathe air, you breathe in positivity and unleash what you call the soul of self-belief. I know all of us try to blow in a balloon. A balloon, when you blow in air it, and you just let it out, it's just going to spread all around without any control. But if you blow in the balloon and take the top, open it a little bit, you know that sound, you're taking control of what's coming out. Amazing, isn't it? I want to invite you to my world. My world of being a singer. I did say it, mind, body, sports, science. When you breathe in, you breathe air inside. Air put energy in your mind. Air nourishes your body. Sports, when they breathe, they use the chest breathing. Us, being singers, we use the diaphragm. I know I'm being technical, but let's put it like the balloon. One thing you can control when you know how to use air properly is the stress. I know all of us sometimes, if you have an important meeting, something that really concerns you, it just takes you here. Imagine the stress as millions of butterflies just ready to go out. You may feel it's like the way to go to the toilet. Uh -uh. That's stress. This is what I'm talking about. How to control stress? The million of butterflies, all with beautiful colors. How do you let it out without breaking the wings? Close your eyes. Breathe in with your diaphragm and your balloon. Take air inside. And let the butterfly take places and let it all out one by one. When you take control and know how to breathe properly, you will unleash the good factor, this frequency called happiness, you know, confidence. Breathing in and breathing out will activate this machine, which is called the human body. Breathing in positivity and transform the negativity inside and put it all out outside. If you breathe in positivity, Take the negativity inside, put it outside. You will contribute negativity outside if you don't transform it. I'll quote Gandhi. If you want to change the world, be that change. Yes, we can. If we believe in ourselves. Breathing air, transform negativity into positivity and let it out and spread it all around. 
you will surely feel that good factor. I want to leave you with something, something that impacts my own life, a motor. I'll say my daily prayer. God, give me humility to accept things I cannot change. Human, ego is too big. You're fighting for something that you know deep down inside. You don't have anything to do with it, but you're still fighting for it. You're still wasting energy, draining your body, trying to do something that you know deep down inside. You don't do it. You won't be able to do it. Ego is too big. You can just turn around and look at your partner or your neighbor. Can you help me out? You know what? I can't do this. Ego. Humility to accept things you cannot change. But give me courage to change things that I can. Oh, yes. Sometimes we're too afraid of doing things. We're too afraid to outshine each other. What we do, we turn our frequency down. We turn that light down. And what are we doing? We're being frustrated. We're unleashing the negativity again. But when you have the courage to do the things that you were born to do it, unleash the soul of self-belief. And above all, wisdom. Wisdom to know the difference between the two. When you know what's best for you, you won't waste time. Time is money. You all know about that. Humility, courage, and wisdom. When you align your mind and body, it will surely unleash the soul of self-beliefs. Thank you so much.